Hello everyone and welcome to the Voice of the Prophet YouTube channel. My name is Prophetess Janelle and if this is your first time coming along with us, I want to welcome you. And if you are a returning subscriber, I want to thank you for coming back and joining with us as well. So as always on this channel, this is where the Lord gives me um, words to speak, prophetic words, and I'm just releasing these words. So today I want to speak to you about this subject, sad news. And the Lord gave me this word he began to show me how much is happening in the world right now. And there is so much, you know, helplessness that is going on and fear and anxiety and a lot of, you know, um, sadness, really. It's, it's a lot of sadness that is happening, a lot of destruction, a lot of death, a lot of sorrow, a lot of pain and a lot of suffering. There's been so many people who have went through so much hurt in the past few months, um, over the past even year and a half and, and some going into two years. Families have been ripped apart. You know, we've heard... You know the pandemic that has been going on you know since the the late the end of 2019 and it's still happening here in 2021 that's just one instance you know the wars that have been happening you know the different things that are happening in America along the border with migrations and even in South America, the things that are, are going on, political wars, so much things that are happening. It seems like stuff is happening on every single continent. So if it doesn't have to do with Corona, um, if it doesn't have to do with political or economical, you know, it has, the weather is um, crazy. We're having flash flooding, hurricanes, all kind of unexpected things, earthquakes, everywhere you turn, basically everywhere you look, there is destruction. There is sadness. You know, if you if you if you want to come under that spirit it could be absolutely easy for you to come under the spirit of hopelessness because of everything that is going on and the lord begins to speak to me he says yes there is when you turn on the news you know there is so much happening um in the news in the media and the media just pushes out everything that's negative happening in our schools and and everything that is going on he says but i want you to remember that there is good news there's more than what the media wants to tell us there's more than what the world wants to show us he says no do not forget the good news and what is that good news that Jesus Christ died and he died and he rose that we can have life and have it more abundantly and so though all these things are happening though all these things are going on you got to remember that Jesus Christ still saves and even in the midst of chaos in the midst of um in the midst of sorrow in the midst of grieving there's still hope you know that your soul is anchored in Jesus Christ that's the most important thing and so even in this time you know where we are right now where we are coming into a, a America coming into the memorial of 9-11 and that's even more grief sadness sorrow so many things that are going to come up you know to bring back up those wounds that has happened and and for sure god wants us to mourn with those who mourn and and we do remember the sacrifice that people made on that day and the lives that um were lost on that day and the lives that have been lost over the past two years god is connected to our grief he bears our our sorrows he bears our infirmities he's with us in all of that yes he is he absolutely is and i and i express my condolences for those who have been in that place of hurting god sees you god hears you and god loves you but this is what i want to speak to you today besides all of that in the midst remember that there is hope and even in the midst of the tragedies that is going on you got to remember that jesus christ is still working he is still doing miracles he's still doing signs he's still doing wonders he's still saving lives you know there are so many things that happen a lot of times the media wants to deflect and they don't want to show you that lives are being saved you know a lot they don't want to show you that miracles are happening in the midst of the pandemic people are still walking out that they thought would not live through it people are still walking out um in full capacity when they thought that you know you're going to have underlying conditions and people are getting up and they are literally bewildering the doctors. You know, we have people who, who have been suffering with suicidal ideation and God is meeting them right where they are and bringing them into faith. There's people who have um, who have been suffering with addiction and God is freeing them. So on today, even though there are so many sad news that we could be broadcasting and putting out, I want to encourage you and I want to remind you that there is good news, that God is still working. He's not dead. You know, he, even though we're in the midst of this and sometimes it's like, Lord, where are you? Like if we could just be honest like in the midst of this sometimes i can even turn on the news and be like lord where are you but god is like i'm still here and i'm still working and even though you can't see it i'm still moving even though you may not understand all things that i'm doing and the way that i move i'm still moving i'm still saving souls even in the midst you know of the countries that are fighting 
with wars and rumors of wars there are still people that are finding jesus there is still salvation there is still souls being saved and the host of heaven is still rejoicing over those souls in the midst of this chaos so people of god i just want to remind you that there is good news in the midst of all this pain suffering and tragedy there is still good news remember that jesus christ is the good news he came to give us life and life more abundantly so on today if you're still living if you're still breathing you may be in a bad situation you, be, you may be in the midst of a bad um, circumstance, but remember, because you're still breathing and because Jesus lives, there's still hope for your future. Your situation has a possibility to turn turn in a different way because you're still breathing and because Jesus lives. Listen, there is hope for your family. There's hope for your marriage. There is hope for your future. There is hope for your purpose because you are still breathing. God is a God of miracles. He can breathe into that situation where there is death. He can bring life to it. So don't grab on to the anxiety. Don't grab onto the hopelessness. Don't grab onto the fear. Don't gaze upon that, but gaze upon Jesus. And on today, this is our challenge. I want to challenge. I want to challenge you guys. I, I I don't ever remember doing this before, but I want to challenge you guys to not only spread the good news, to not only testify to those around you, testify the goodness of Jesus and how He brought you out. But I really want you to focus in and hone in on what God has done for you. And if you would like to tell your testimony, if you would like to proclaim the goodness of Jesus and what he's done in your life, even in the midst of all this chaos, please do so in the comment section. Encourage one another. Y'all can go behind each other and just share the love, you know, encourage one another. But go ahead, share into that comment section and let us know. Let me know what Jesus Christ is doing in your life. Let us see, let us spread the good news of Jesus Christ. So people of God, be blessed. If you would like to, to subscribe to this channel, you can go ahead and do so. I would appreciate it. If you would like to go ahead and like and share, share with somebody who needs to remember that God is still working, God is still moving, and that there is still hope. Because sometimes, you know, honestly, in the midst of it, we can forget. And a lot of times, one negative situation and one bad thing that happened, it could be that one death that happened in your life. And it can kind of overcast and overshadow all the good things that God is doing. And that's the way the enemy likes it. He likes for us to exaggerate the, the bad things and to downplay the good things but on today we are going to remember we are going to remember we are going to remember that god is still good and his mercy endures forever so again so once again please share this video like the video um let somebody hear your testimony encourage somebody who is going to the day that jesus christ still saved he's still delivering and he's still setting people free so people have got be blessed and remember have a good day and share your testimony have a good day